Hi everybody, this is JLPTN1. Um, today I'm bringing you a special episode where I'm speaking in English. Usually I go over JLPTN1 kanjis, and I usually go over it completely in Japanese because I like to get immersed in the language, and I like to read the Japanese definitions, and it's kind of hard if I have to keep going back and forth. Um, the kanjis we're doing today, as you can see, are kind of more basic kanjis. Here we have kawa and shita. You know, uh, these are like first year kanjis. Um, and I'm going to kind of take the these basic ones, the compounds that have the tricky readings. Like this one is uh, actually pronounced kawashimo. Um, someone, I mean, this, this looks like might be kawashita. Maybe senka. Those are, are are both non-existent readings, um, and you'll see this this one sometimes. I've only picked the ones that I've seen before, so I've seen this one before, kawashimo. Okay, and I'm also testing myself, so uh, we'll see how it goes. This is hito te, uh, hito hito de, hito de, yeah. I would, uh, when you read this, the first time I looked at it, I thought it was hito te, but it's hito de. That's what's tricky about it. And you'll get the, you get, you'll get the reading wrong on the GLPT if you, because they'll probably give you both options when they're trying to be tricky. And this just means helper. Yeah. And this one is useki. This one's not actually that tricky because uh, Migi is, is the on yomi is often u. It can be u, but uh, it's often u, like an uha. And seki, yeah, that's the normal reading for seki to bend or to cut. So useki is to turn right. And here we have two, con two compounds. The one on the top is. I'm not sure. I'm gonna guess ghetto, and the one on the bottom is iede. Shoot. Okay, in this looks like I don't have the actual definition here, but uh, I have to kind of search for it. This is just the um, Gu dictionary d definition. Ah, uh, here it is. Okay, this one's really tricky. This kanji up here is pronounced suito, and I'm not sure what that means because I didn't look it up. So I'm going to look it up right now, because if you don't watch the the show, this is usually what I do. I Ooh. this is kind of messy. Uh, I just am am doing a real real time live stream of, of my kanji reviews and yeah, I put them online because it helps me when I when I'm too lazy to act, do actual studying and, and just want someone to to say stuff in a YouTube video to me so this one means ah, suito means receipts and expenditures according to Rikai Kun um, yeah and, and it makes sense because the, you know this is deru and this is um, often read no for tax, paying your taxes and stuff like that. And iede is another. Well, I guess that's not so so hard, just to to leave the house or to run away. Yeah, but this one's hard. Sweet toll. I'll have to probably stare at that a few times. This is the first time I'm going over, so I'm going to click good for now. Uh, this is jishaku. It's a little tricky because this is usually red seki, right? This is magnet, G. But together it's red jishaku. And, uh, well, the both of them together is actually magnet. I'm not sure, I actually forget what just this one is. But, uh, yeah, this is jishaku. And you hear it once in a while. Uh, this is This one's very common. In, both in speech and in written written language, um, is shiroto. And it's actually I always forget where the u is. 
I always put it at the end and that's wrong. It's actually shiro uto. Shiro uto. Um, kind, kind of a tricky thing. There's When you have the jin kanji at the end, the hito kanji at the end, um, sometimes you get like a, an uto at the end or udo. That happens a couple times like in uh, ryodo or something, the, the hunter. And a couple of those I can't remember right now. Um, but Shiroto is amateur. The, uh, and this one's usually read Su, right? So this is an especially tricky one. Shiroto. Okay. So the next one. Ah, oh, this one I also like. Um, this one is Hitojichi. You see it a lot in stories and such. It means hostage. Um... And I apologize for, yeah, the way I study is I, I look up the Japanese and I don't put any English definitions here. Reason being, I, in the definitions, there's lots of related words, and if a word appears in a definition, there's a good chance I should probably know it at the N1 level. But, yeah, these these compounds are, are more general level, I think, because these are simple kanjis, right? You probably have seen this one. Even the first year from Chitsumon and Hito is one of the very first, if not, yeah, on the first day kind of kanji. But Hito Jichi hmm, is tricky because this is usually read Shitsu. Jichi looks kind of similar to Shitsu, but hmm, it is different. So here they have the example Hito Jichi Okaiho Suru, release the hostages. Yes. Next one, I'm not sure how this one's read. Uh, I went over it a few days ago. What was it? Tabun. I think this is read Wakaudo. Wakoudo. Yeah, as I said again, sometimes when you have Hito at the end, you get Udo or Uto. But uh, this one's Wakai, right? But uh, here it's read Wako. Wakodo. Okay. And this means young person, as you might think. Wakamono. Yeah. It says here. Okay. And so, oh, this is this is a, this is a cool one. I like this one. This is uh, what's it? Rikishi. Usually, this is yoku for chikara. The the onyomi is roku, yoku. And this is, yeah, this can be she. For like a warrior or guy. Um, but Rikishi is like, uh, I think it's a, a sumo, or it can be just a, a strong person. Chikara no tsuyoi hito. Or chikara mochi. Or, but um, in a certain context, I think this is the sumo wrestler. And. Yeah, this is this is red sumo. Sumo tori. So, yeah. And there's a few sayings. Um, yeah. But yeah, the main thing is sometimes it's zardiki. There's a couple other words, and I thought I collected them at the bottom. I was, oh, I I do have them here. So um, this is the definition for chikara. And here are the compounds that are used with Riki. So Riki Shi I put because I've seen before. Riki Ryo, I've not, I'm not sure. Um, Go Riki, I think I've seen. I think I've seen this before. And the way I often check, I don't know, since, since we're sharing study time, uh, not such a bad idea if we just go over, I mean, we share our study styles too, so I, I often use Google just to search. And I have to add an O because my Google is in German. And yeah, if I don't do that, I get a lot of Chinese. Uh, so what did I put? I put Go Riki. And what I get back not so much hits, it looks like. Okay. Uh, this is a tricky one. This can also be read 
Kyoryoku. When you look up things in, in Rikai-kun, as you can see, it, it often gives you two readings, and it can be tricky. For this, sometimes it helps. Sometimes it turns out there's two readings, but only one is really used. And... Ah, this is maybe the Goriki that I've been thinking of. Yeah. So for this, for this compound, with this goal, and sometimes it's this goal, this, this directs directly to this one. If, if it's ambiguous, they will give you uh, a, a list of choices in this dictionary, in the Gu dictionary. This is a pretty good dictionary. Yeah. But it looks like this one is used um, a little bit. I'm not sure why it directed me to Kyoryoku, but that might be a Google thing. I'll try one more thing. Yeah, here. Here you have a lot of things. Right? I'm not sure what this means. Gallery de Goriki o Ichikara Toru Hoho. I'm not sure what that means, but. Yeah, sometimes I'll actually go up and, and, and read a few examples to get a better sense of the meaning. But for this case, I think it's, it's kind of obvious if you put the kanjis for strong and and strong <laughs> next to each other yeah okay so uh let's go a few more oh uh, this one i i just learned the other day a friend sent me a a, PD, a pdf of tricky ones this was one of them i forget this is yaoya i think for grocery store you would never guess if you if you this is very idiomatic, right? This just means eight hundred in store. And it's not eight hundred yen store, it's it's a vegetable store. Granted, this eight is often red ya. Uh, I don't know about often, but it can be red ya, I believe. And uh you just have to remember her <laughs> if, if there's two ya surrounding it then there's a good chance this is a vegetable store. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and... Next one is... Ooh, what is this one? I know that this means farmer. Uh, and I believe it's pronounced Hakusho. Hyakusho. Hyakusho. Okay. Yeah. No mean. Nogyo ni juji suru hito. This is a farmer, basically, a noka. Okay, so because of the YouTube has a time limit, I'm gonna cut here and